called, I wish I knew what to tell you. In 80 years, I think I've only learned one thing for sure. What's that? Never eat raspberries. Gotta go. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 banned kids' TV shows. To the beginning of the end for the Power Rangers. For this list, we'll be looking at children's TV shows that riled up more than a few feathers. Do you think that these shows deserve to get banned? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Scooby-Doo Franchise. Stop him, Scooby! Not even for a Scooby snack? Okay. <laughs> Chinese children may be able to eat Scooby snacks, but they can't watch the Scooby gang cruise around in the mystery machine. In 2008, the Chinese government banned numerous cartoons, including a sponge who lives in a pineapple under the sea. I've got bad news, guys. Look at what happened to my house. It's gone. Scooby-Doo and SpongeBob SquarePants were taken off the air in an effort to promote local Chinese cartoons. While it's admirable that the Chinese government wants to support their local artists, their exact reasoning for the restrictions was never made clear. If a show as innocent as Scooby-Doo is banned, just how innocent are Chinese cartoons? Don't you know it's illegal to shoot off fireworks and wreck a storeroom? <laughs> we will build a new storeroom. <laughs> like who's gonna build a new us? Number nine, The Loud House. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lincoln, what's the big deal? Oh, let me explain. See, sleepovers in the Loud House have not always gone so well. <laughs> Being the middle child is not easy. It's especially difficult when you're the middle child and the only son among 11 children. The Loud House has been a hit since it first aired on Nickelodeon due to its premise. It's also been hailed for featuring the first married gay couple in a Nicktoon. However, Howard and Harold have not been embraced everywhere. Actually, we have a few questions about classroom safety. Life jackets under the desks, you have them, yes? Well, actually... What's the UV rating on these windows? We assume you provide the students with sunblock? Oh, well, Mr. McBride, we... And what about chalk dust levels? <laughs> the series was banned in Kenya by the Kenya Film Classification Board for disturbing content glorifying homosexual behavior. Kenya isn't the only country to have had concerns about the show. In the U.S., the One Million Moms division of the American Family Association called for the couple to be removed from the series. Come on, Howie. Remember what Dr. Lopez said about letting go. Now let go. I love him so much! Have fun, Clyde! Number 8, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's Morphin time! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber-Doo Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Mostly remembered for being oh-so-90s and oh-so-campy, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was surprisingly controversial. During its run, multiple complaints regarding the show's violence were submitted in the US, Canada, and New Zealand. Yet, that's not why the series was initially banned in Malaysia. The Malaysian government thought that the word morphin sounded a bit too much like morphine, and that a series for children should not be associated with that drug. Eventually, the phrase Mighty Morphin was censored. Since it wasn't the content of the series, but just the phrase Mighty Morphin that bothered the censors, the 2017 film, simply titled Power Rangers, was deemed acceptable. It's Morphin time. Number 7, Cow and Chicken. Who knew that his siblings with human parents, a cow and a chicken, could get into so much trouble? Back off! I'm only sitting with you because mom and dad said I had to. Wanna help my teats? Hey, that's it! I'm sitting with Fleming Earl. Cartoon Network's Cow and Chicken, which aired in the late 90s, ended up banned in India. The series was known for its gutsy and adult humor, including a problematic episode featuring a group of female bikers that some thought went too far. Where are the Buffalo Gals? Oh, the Buffalo Gals! A motorcycle riding gang that randomly bursts into people's homes and chews on their carpet! But the ban in India came about for a totally different reason. Many Indians are Hindus, and a key belief in Hinduism is that cows are a sacred animal. Since Cow was stripped of any dignity she once had, the show was seen as offensive. Number 6, Malcolm in the Middle Before he was the one running the streets of Albuquerque, Brian Cranston starred as the oddball-loving father of the title character on Malcolm in the Middle. Once you begin the path, there is no leaving the path. Are you sure you're ready for that? 
I mean, really ready? I guess so. Neat. We'll start tomorrow. The series was hailed as being ahead of its time, with many bits that are now common in most sitcoms, such as cold opens, breaking the fourth wall, and fast editing. But the content of the show made it too far ahead of its time in Malaysia. Just once, I'd like to learn a lesson without something exploding. The comedy was banned because the government felt it contained violent and sexual content for school-aged children and offensive depictions of antisocial behavior. I sat in a cubicle every day, envying that caterpillar. Because at least he got to be on TV. Number 5. Winnie the Pooh Franchise Hello, rabbit! Well, come in, Pooh Bear. My goodness, how very nice to see you. Me too. Rabbit? It's hard to imagine this willy-nilly silly old bear offending anyone, but Winnie the Pooh has managed to get himself banned in China. Oh, I do wish Tigger were here. Perhaps he could think of something. Pooh and his pals' TV shows and movies are not welcome there, but his books and his two-themed rides at Disneyland Shanghai are. So what exactly did Pooh do? He's actually become a symbol of anti-communist resistance as a series of memes began in 2013 comparing China's leader, Xi Jinping, to the tubby little cubby. Jinping did not like how the Pooh memes questioned his authority. We assume this means that the next Winnie the Pooh film will not involve the Great Wall of China. Your ladder is broken. That's, that's not a ladder, that was a shelf. Well, that explains why it's no good for climbing. Number 4. Hey Arnold Move it, football head! Hey Arnold! Move it, football head may have been the exact words the Kenya Film Classification Board said when they first watched the beloved Nicktoon Hey Arnold. While most of us remember Hey Arnold for its diverse cast and heartfelt plots, the show never aired in Kenya. Go Arnold, go! Eek through the pain. It was banned for two reasons, the inclusion of a quote-unquote LGBT agenda and because Arnold's grandfather's head looks very phallic. You heard that last part right. Principal Wartz called. He said you're in big trouble, that you're this far from being expelled. What does he know? He's just an old fart. Grandpa! In one episode, Kenyan officials complained when his grandfather stood next to a poster that said, Try my sausage, believing that this was too sexual for children. Oh, my Odin's beard, what I saw, boy! Not a child at all, I tell you, but some kind of, of, of eating machine. I've never seen anything like it. And here we are thinking that the show's biggest controversy was the revelation that it doesn't take place in New York City. Number 3. Peppa Pig <laughs> George, catch! Oh dear, George is too little to catch the ball. Just because the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson loves Peppa Pig doesn't mean that everyone does. I was a bit hazy what I would find at Peppa Pig World, uh, but I loved it. And Peppa Pig World is, is very much my kind of place. Much like Winnie the Pooh, Peppa Pig has been banned in China because she is seen as a way to rebel against the government there. A number of tattoos featuring Peppa, as well as adult images, flooded Douyin, a popular Chinese social media site. While the series isn't completely banned in Australia, one episode is. In the season one episode, Mr. Skinny Legs, Peppa befriends spiders. While this is fine and dandy in merry old England, getting close to spiders is far more dangerous because, like many animals in Australia, there are many spiders that can kill you. George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Number two, Steven Universe. The creators of Steven Universe truly believe that love is love. The groundbreaking series included the first same-sex marriage proposal to be shown in a cartoon. Sapphire, will you marry me? What? <laughs> marry you? Yeah, this way we could be together even when we're apart. This time, being Garnet will be our decision. What do you say? Not everyone loved how inclusive the universe of Steven Universe is. Just as they had with previous shows, the Kenya Film Classification Board banned Steven Universe for glorifying homosexual behavior. I'm going to the bathroom. Hey, you're looking kind of tense. How about I give you a nice, relaxing massage while we talk? I'm also going to the bathroom. There was no way for the series to be censored, as the writers specifically incorporated the LGBTQ relationships and characters in a way that censoring them would lead to confusion. Hopefully one day the Kenyan government will change their mind and reverse this decision. Then by the power vested in me by the state of Delmarva, I now pronounce you Garnet! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pokemon Surprisingly, Saudi Arabia did not ban Pokemon because certain episodes apparently cause seizures. No, it's because Pikachu and his fellow pocket monsters promote evolution and gambling, which the Saudi Arabian government stated is not allowed in the Quran. What? It's evolving! Caterpie, this is so great! Since Saudi Arabia's laws go hand in hand with those written in the Muslim holy text, Pokemon ended up getting the boot. <laughs> Looks like rocket 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 rocket. Rocket. Turkey later banned the show for a very different reason. After parents claimed that the series caused their children to engage in dangerous behavior, the Turkish government did not want more children to risk hurting themselves, so the series was taken off the air. I know it hurts! You're in a lot of pain! We just want to help you! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.